Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Draw Their Life. And the winners of the last episode are... If you want to win a shout out, hit the subscribe button with notification on and comment below that you did, and I'll randomly announce a winner in the next episode. And today we're drawing the story of one of the most popular games, Animal Crossing. It's a video game developed and published by Nintendo. As we all know, Animal Crossing popularity mostly took off during the times of the pandemic. Nintendo is well experienced in making exciting video games for the young audience, and I mean any kind of audience. Animal Crossing is developed by game developer Katsuya Aguchi and designed by Hisashi Nogami in 2001. The game is a social simulation game. It's all about how a human can survive in a village with only animals around him. Animal Crossing is a non-linear gameplay, which means the game is open-ended. The player will have many options to choose at certain points and go ahead in the game. So each time you can play a different game with different activities, twists and turns. Developed in Japan, the game was first released in April of 2001 for the Nintendo 64. So, for somebody who wants to play the game, he will be given human characteristics to choose from. Animal Crossing is very famous for its customization. One can choose a character as per their own real characteristics, gender, appearance and everything. There are in-game items which can be purchased to make this more real. You will feel like you are actually living as you inside the game. So, this protagonist character is surrounded by many anthropomorphic animals player shown is living in a village along with these animals and doing activities. One will have to do many activities like bug catching, fossil hunting, fishing, saving yourself from animals and all to survive in the village. The player can also customize the house they live in with furniture and floor designs. There will be so many options for customization that you can make your house look like whatever you want. These are really small details available in the game, but these make a big difference in the experience of gaming. can have a maximum of four human players. However, at a time, only one player can explore the village. The players can interact with each other in both online and offline modes. Inside the game, they can also interact through written messages in the village post office or bulletin board. The gameplay basically has no specific objectives to achieve, it's just that the player has to spend more time inside the game, doing different kind of activities. One can collect items, cultivate plants and crops, socialize with other villagers, or construct something useful. There are so many options to branch out inside the game that it will only get exciting with each proceed. Another amazing feature of the game is that it uses the video game console's internal clock and calendar and syncs the game with that. So the timing in the game world is the same as the player's real world time. This will help to have real time experiences of the season, festivals and day and night routines. This feature may seem silly and unimportant, but this is something which is told as the most amazing part of the game by some fans. When the passage of time inside the game and in our real world is the same, sometimes we might forget that we are in a game. Another important feature of the game is exploring the village and collecting items. One can take fruits, leaves, seashells and many things like that. These items can be sold inside the game for bells. Bell is the in-game currency. The more bells you have, the more things you can buy inside the game to customize your house and your looks. The player can also engage with other villagers by conversing with them, by sending and receiving letters, by playing games with them and also bartering. 
There are many characters inside the game like Tom Nook, the gatekeeper. Timmy and Tommy. As per the player's actions and decisions taken inside the game, things can change in the village. People may move in or out. The player can also travel to other villages and towns as part of the gameplay. For the most part of it, the game will give a feeling of spontaneity and surprises. Obviously, the first part of the Animal Crossing was well received in Japan. Based on such a huge commercial success they got in Japan, Nintendo decided to enhance the game for the other parts of the world. The game was enhanced and localized to release in North America in 2002. In 2003, it was released in Australia, and in 2004, the same got released in Europe. 60 million units of this first part of the series were sold worldwide. With no doubt, we can say that the first version was a huge success, almost all over the world. Unlike many other games, the Animal Crossing was critically acclaimed as well, along with its financial success. This increased the brand value of the game. Nintendo had all the reasons to come forward with the next part and make this into a game series. And that's what they did. In 2005, Nintendo came up with the second part of the series, The Wild World. This time, the game was released in Japan, North America, and Europe in the same year. It was in the 2005 version that the game could use the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection for the first time. The third part of the series was out in 2008, named City Folk. In 2012, the fourth one was released, which was named as New Leaf. And the latest version of the game was released in 2020, which is the Animal Crossing New Horizons. It was released worldwide in March 2020. Crossing already had a reputation of being an awesome game. Along with that, the pandemic situation pushed more and more people to stay at home for months. This increased the demand for video games in 2020, and Animal Crossing New Horizons was released exactly at that time. The fans have been waiting for this release to jump in. With all these helping factors, the game became the first console game to reach the sales number of 5 million digital copies sold within a month. The game even received the Best Family Game Award in the Game Awards 2020. From March 2020 till date, 22 million copies of the game have been sold already. As per the Nintendo sales officials, the sales momentum has not gone down yet. Animal Crossing gives a kind of freedom to the players. It lets us decide when we want to do things and how to do it. There's always an excitement and leisure in the game. At the same time, there's no pressure to achieve goals or levels. Basically. This game is a proper mix of relaxation and enthusiasm. Especially in 2020, Animal Crossing has made so many new fans for itself. It's because the game has provided the perfect sensations for those who are stuck inside their homes. There's a feeling of community, there's uncertainty, there's decision making, there's freedom of choices, and there's fun. What else do we need from a game? So there guys, that was the Draw My Life video. If you want more awesome Draw My Life videos like this, hit that subscribe button with notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Till then, 